So, Matt, I am sick and tired of seeing those null reference exceptions all throughout my code, but I heard that C-sharp has a new feature that can help get rid of them or make it e a little easier. So can you tell me more about those? Hey, Leslie. Yeah, I love to. And it, it's called nullable reference types. And you might be thinking right off the bat, it's like, well, of course you can have nullable reference types in C-sharp. But what yeah. this does, it helps, really helps you make your intent super duper clear when you're writing classes. So how about we jump into some code so I can well, make my intent clear about what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right. So what I have here is I created this survey question class. And when you have a survey question, you're going to, of course, want some question text behind it. I mean, why would you ask a question without having the actual question? Right? A little awkward. <laughs> yeah, a little awkward for sure. And so what we can do here is make sure our developers who are using the class, make sure they know that they should really be required to enter these uh, question text to it. Cool. So Next. how do we set that up? Yeah, for sure. And what I'm going to need to do is go into the csproj file. And in here, I can do nullable, enable, nullable. Close that out. So what that's saying is, you know what? We're going to enable nullable reference types here. Across the entire project? It's going to go across the entire project. And so you'll notice one thing that happens here is the squiggly line now appears on question text. Everyone's favorite. Mm hmm And it's saying to us, you know what? You made your intention super specific in that question text now. It needs a value. Yeah. So. It's looking like that default constructor is not going to fly here, and we need to be more specific <laughs> about exactly. Oh, yep. In order to get in. that squiggly squiggly text out of there, we got to put a new constructor in, and so all we're passing in is the question text, and everything's cool. We're all happy. awesome. That's really simple. So let's make it a little more challenging. So I've seen in surveys uh, sometimes having survey hint options, and this is completely optional. But let's say we wanted to implement something like that while also still addressing the potential null reference issues. How do we do it? Yeah. And so, yeah, that, that's the place where these nullable reference types shine. And so how we would handle that is this way. You'll notice right here after the string data type, when I declared the property, there's a question mark. And so mm -hmm. what I'm saying as the developer of the survey question class is that, you know what, question text, I'm being super strong here. You need to put that in. But for question hint, by having that question mark after it, I'm just saying, you know what? I don't need it. You know, you can, it's up to you whether you want to put it in or not. It's so easy. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. So let's go into um, the program class here and actually write a little program to use it. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a question, putting it into a list, and just using the basic um. Constructor, you'll notice I'm not using at all the question hint. Cool. Looks good so far. So far, so good. And so, but then for the second question, I am going to use the question hint. So first one doesn't, second one does. And so this is all building up to the fact that I'm going to loop through the questions and display the question. And if there's a hint, I want to display that as well. Mm-hmm. The question and is so, if, though, <laughs> if there's yep. a <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> and you can see right here, that's what we have to do, is going down, is I'm checking, you know what, if question hint is equal to null, and it's even telling me, hey, you know what, question hint may be null here. Um, I'm going to check for it, put in an empty string if it is. Uh, Makes sense. Put in, the question, put in the question hint if it's not. And then question text, I don't need to check it because... We already defined it. We it's already defined it. It's there. That constructor. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, that's what that's what nullable reference types are. Yeah, super cool, super easy, and it tells my developers or even tells me when I'm using the classes exactly what I meant to do. 
that is really nifty. And I love how specific the warnings are, even as much as I'm not a fan of the squigglies. <laughs> I feel like that could save me a lot of exception handling issues. So if you're excited to try out null reference types, uh, be sure to check out the docs below. Thank you.